Finally tonight, remembering the grief of Michael Brown's parents. Today, the nation watched as they laid their son to rest, long before his time. It's a grief that is shared by too many parents across the nation who have formed their own community of tragedy. Michael Brown's parents have received special support from the parents of Trayvon Martin, who joined the rally in Ferguson yesterday. They spoke about their shared experience in an interview with my MSNBC colleague, Craig Melvin. Seeing him in a casket today made it, made it reality. What's going to be the hardest part? Walking away. Walking away from that casket. It doesn't get easier. Um, but what we have done is uh, found ways to divert the negative energy into something positive because there's going to be negative energy. There are good people out there like uh, Mr. Brown and Ms. Ms. McSpadden that were praying for us. So to come back here and, and, and try to be, uh, try to let them lean on our shoulders for a little strength, I think it was real important. These mothers and fathers speak with a unique kind of moral force, using their personal grief to start a public debate. The mother of Eric Gardner, who died after a police chokehold, marched in his memory this weekend. She was joined by the mother of Amadou Diallo, who was killed by 41 bullets fired by police. These parents are seeking justice and change, despite their own personal grief. I, as president of National Action Network, have been working with all of these families, and they think I've helped them. They really helped me. To watch them up close bear their pain, bear their grief with dignity, and not succumb to the temptation of wayward words and inflaming tensions has made me a better activist, a better person, a better communicator. I thank these families for making it a better America. Thanks for watching. I'm Al Sharpton. Hardball starts right now.